Hey, what's going on everybody? We are here at Woodlawn Memorial Park and Mausoleum. Well, we're here to see little Jimmy Dickens. And so I thought before we go in, I'd get my little spiel out of the way and show you George Jones while we're doing it. So let me get my ad out of the way and say, if this is your first time here, welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, please consider liking, subscribing, sharing, you know, doing all those things. And if this isn't your first time here, hey, welcome back. Uh, let's see, who could we see? Well, let's go see Mr. Johnny Paycheck first while we're here. I know we're here to do little Jimmy, but hey, you know, well, when in Rome, there's Mr. Paycheck and there's the possum right there. So yes, yeah, shouts out to the members. I want to say thank you guys. Uh, that, it helps. Uh, okay, George. It's hard to see. Maybe that'll help. So yeah, we're just going to walk and uh, talk about Mr. Jimmy's life and all the things he did. And then kind of like the way we did with Jerry Reed, I'm just kind of going to go in there and do a little bit of me walking through and then we'll show the grave and then we'll leave from there and then come back out here and we'll finish the video that way because it's real quiet in there and I don't want to be the, the guy with the GoPro. I don't know. I just don't want to do that. So yeah, let's, let's get to going. So born in Bolt, West Virginia, he began his musical career in the 1930s performing on radio stations in the area while attending West Virginia University. He soon quit school to pursue a full-time music career, traveling country, traveling the country, performing on local radio stations under the name Jimmy the Kid. Dickens signed with Columbia in September and joined the Opry in August. Around this time, he began using the nickname Little Jimmy Dickens, inspired by his short stature. And in 57, Dickens left the Grand Ole Opry to tour with Phillips Morris Country Music Show. So in 1962, Dickens had his first top 10 country hit since 54 with The Violet and a Rose. So in 1964, he became the first country artist to circle the globe while on tour. He was also made numerous appearances on television, including The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. And in 65, he released his biggest hit, May the Bird of Paradise Fly Up Your Nose, which reached number one on the country chart and number 15 on the pop chart. In the late 1960s, Dickens left Columbia for Decker Records before moving again to United Artists in 71. That same year, he married his wife, Mona. And in 75, he returned to the Grand Ole Opry. And in 83, he was inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. So in 1984, he appeared in Hank Williams Jr.'s music video for the hit single, All My Rowdy Friends Are Coming Over Tonight. Toward the end of his life, Dickens made appearances in a number of music videos by fellow West Virginia native and country musician Brad Paisley. He was also featured, that was a mosquito. He was also featured on several of Paisley's albums and bonus comedy tracks. I hope I don't, I'm glad I didn't fall down those. Along with other Opry mainstays such as George Jones and Bill Anderson. They were collectively referred to as the Kung Pao Buckaroos. So Dickens was hospitalized after a stroke on December 25th, Christmas Day of 2014, six days after marking his birthday and what would be his last appearance on the Opry. He died of cardiac arrest on January 2nd, 2015 at the age of 94. And so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in there and I'm gonna show you guys the B-roll of us going to that. And then I'll meet you back here once we're done with that. Before we get to little Jimmy, let me take, see right there, right there, but hold on. Let's go right down here real quick. There's Jimmy right there. 
awesome. I always try to show them when I come in here because somebody, you know, a lot of cool decorations in here. At least it's got, you know, even in death, at least there's a little bit of life in all this, you know. But here, let's get down here to little Jimmy's grave. And also, all right, so here's little Jimmy, right? There's Lily Mae Tomlin, and then there's Dottie Rambo right next to that. Richard Tomlin. Yeah, there's little Jimmy right there. Pretty good. And the little, the little guitar. That's pretty good there too. Yeah, so the grave of little Jimmy Dickens. How cool, huh? That was fun. It's it's weird in there. It's quiet. Like I didn't always feel like I should dress up before I go in that place. There's so many, I don't know, you know, just out of respect. I don't because I don't have any sense, but I feel like I should, you know, at least I'm thinking about it. Probably more than some people that go in there. But uh, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you liked Jerry Reed and little Jimmy and uh, thanks for the 50,000. I can't appreciate you guys enough for what you've done and all that stuff like it does mean a lot so until the next one do you want to say it miss back roads you never know what you'll find on the back roads we'll see you guys next time